What is good, Nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock, which you should be looking out for for the future. I'm also going to do some in depth technical analysis and talk about what's going on with AMC share price. Is this the end for AMC? And I'm going to talk about why I believe this is not the end. I still think AMC has immense potential, and we are going to see another leg up relatively soon. Now, it's not going to happen as quickly as some of us would have thought, but I still think AMC looks pretty darn good right now. So I'm going to show you guys exactly why I feel this way and what the chart and data are suggesting so before i get started though before i actually break down the data and what's going on with amc i got to mention a couple of things real quick real quick i'm not a financial planner don't take any of this as financial advice and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this not only benefits me it benefits the entire it community as a whole and the last things if you guys can please check out the mumu link down below in the description if you sign up for mumu the link down below deposit a hundred dollars into the account you're guaranteed 10 free stocks each worth up to two thousand five hundred dollars and you can always sell these 10 free stocks for cash and use that cash to buy some amc shares for free it's a limited time offer the offer ends in just two weeks so please check it out before they run out with that out of the way let's get on with the video so amc was down 4.2 percent for the day a little bit green in the after hours and right off the bat you could see the pattern that this thing is starting to kind of follow so as of right now what I'm looking for is a nice bounce on Monday. I want to see this thing push right back up and continue to try to rally to the upside. If this thing actually breaks a lot lower, comes down to the 23s or 24s, it would actually start to break the trend that it's in. It would actually not look too good. But other than that, I still think it's doing fine. Okay. And I want to show you guys what actually happened today. Let me use the five minute candles. I think that's going to be a good uh, example to use. Check this out. So AMC. The girl pushes up to 27 bucks. Nice move, right? Then the shorts pile in. They're like, no, they get her rejected. She pushes all the way down. Then she slowly pushes up. And you, you're going to notice this for two hours, two to three hours. This thing was trading sideways. She was trying to break past 26 and she held above it for some time. Then she'd go below it. And then what happened was they rug pulled us. Now, what was essentially happening at this point is the shorts were kind of just holding up and they, they were struggling. Now, why were they struggling? Because they had a limited amount of shares to short AMC with. You look at how many shares were av available to borrow. It took them a while to actually get these 1 million shares. It was tricky for them. So what they were doing was they were calling this broker, calling this broker, calling this friend, calling this person to get those shares right to get those shares so this was trading sideways for some time once they got the shares bam they smacked us down and they were so desperate to push this thing down because it was actually hurting them the shorts get destroyed if amc goes above 23 bucks and what else is interesting is when you look at the options chain this thing had at 90,000 calls in the money and it went down to 50,000. They were just hammering the 26s, the 25s, the 24.5s. That was essentially what their goal was, the 24.5s. And they got us right below 24.5. We're still well above max pain. So very interesting price action. So is this the end? The answer is no. I don't see this as the end. I do see AMC kind of consolidating, maybe trading kind of boring for the first three days of next week. But then I do believe. If this continues, we should get a breakout near the end of next week. Now, I want to show you some other very important things. The volume is still doing all right, 72 million. Average volume was 49 million. And if you look at the short volume percentage, like down here, still kind of high. So the shorts are trying to pile in, but it's not working to the same degree because we could see we use different charts out there. If you look at our RSI, the buyers are still stepping in. People are still excited. They're not giving up just yet. Look at AMC. The dark pools percentage was at 60% for the day. So the shorts, they redirected almost 60%, maybe more than that if you count the entire data. This is just from the data we have. 60% of trades on dark pools. That was a big spike compared to yesterday, which was at like 54%. They're doing this because they were trying to keep this thing down. And it's actually pretty hard to keep this thing down when there's so much buying pressure. And they've been doing it for so darn long. So what I'm essentially seeing from this point is if we look at other technical indicators out there, let me just pull up many of the other ones. Look at our OBV. There's not much selling that's going on. The large majority of people are still holding. And what we could see is the buyers are still stepping in 
at a good phase. If you look at the weekly, you could see the RSI is still picking up. It's still picking up steam. It has more room to go up. It doesn't look like it's done at all right now. And what else I'm seeing that's very interesting is if you look at our MACD, same thing. We, we still have that crossover on the weekly. It's still not doing bad. And we still had a green week, guys. It's not the end of the world. So let me actually close these and show you on the weekly. So AMC was just trading sideways, not doing too well back here when it was at 9 bucks. Look at these weekly candles. We had one giant week up to 22. The next week we spiked at 27.5. Now we closed at 24. Not bad. We're still up more than 10% for the week. I want to see a continuation near the end of the week. I want to see another big push. Because remember, for some of these runs, we would have like one very big week and then another small week. Well, what I'm seeing is it doesn't have to be like other runs. This could just take many weeks to really play out since we are in anticipation of the whole APE dividend. And it's already going to be past the last record date for people to get those dividends. So what I'm seeing from here is now we're in that time frame between now and the time the dividend comes out, which is going to be the 19th of August during market uh, after market close. This means that August 22nd is going to be the first day that you could actually trade those apes. And that's where things could become very interesting. So I wouldn't be surprised if we actually get some more nice price action still leading up to it. I don't think we're just going to tumble right down. And I think that we're going to respect this trend line right here. I think this is what AMC is bound to do. Now, when it comes to specifics, I just think that the next few days might be kind of boring. She could make another big move up, then a big drop, another move up, and we might just slowly kind of consolidate in this range, and we should get a breakout. It's looking like around Thursday or Friday, that's when it could end up coming. Maybe if that's the case, it should push up very hard because some of these shorts may be incentivized to start covering are all of them going to cover? No, but some likely will, right? And they're doing this because they know this ape dividend could put them in a mess. So to be safe, they may want to hide what they've been doing because what they're doing could get exposed quite soon thanks to what Adam Aaron is doing. So keep your heads up. Don't you dare let them get into your heads. We're still at 24 bucks. I mean, we were back near the end or i'm sorry the very beginning of august we were at 14 bucks we were at you know much lower values we were at 17 bucks around the 5th of august if we time travel back just a couple days ago we were touching 20 dollars flat on the 10th of august 20 dollars. we're at 24 right now so we're still doing all right i think the problem is people had this big expectation that this thing was about to explode and yeah it looked like it was going to from a technical standpoint but that's not what we got. They ended up just causing the rejection. They're very angry. But hey, we've been through this. We've been through this. We cannot give up just yet. We have to remain calm, cool, and collected and be patient. AMC is not that far from 30 bucks right now. And it is possible for us, for us to get there within the next two weeks, in my opinion. So I'm still bullish. I still think AMC is holding up still pretty well. I mean, this was this wasn't like a you know 10% negative day or negative 8% or negative 12. They were, they only got us down like 4%. All right. So let's hold up. Let's remain calm, cool, and collected. You know, get ready for next week. I think things are gonna be just fine. And I really believe something big is in the works. It's not gonna happen overnight. You gotta be patient, but we cannot give up. Because if we give up, that's going to be the end. And to achieve anything great in life, anything, it's going to require struggle. It's going to require hardships. And we've been through everything with the stock. We're not quitting. And I really am confident that the apes refuse to give up because we know we have a big advantage in display. Anyways, thank you all for listening. Please have a great rest of the day. And I'll most definitely see you guys in the next video. Uh, AMC to the moon because the long-term future is bright. And peace out.